All right, guys, one of our basic movement drills is our wall routine. Uh, it's gonna simulate kind of leg drag positions, inverted guard, um, inverted guard through the triangles, and all that kind of stuff. The big emphasis here is learning how to spin flat on our turtle shell, so flat on our back, uh, keeping ourselves off of an edge, and staying flat as we can. It's kind of uh, contradictory to what we always hear in jiu-jitsu, and that's uh, stay on your edge the whole time. Uh, but I find that when we go for arm bars, triangles, um, any kind of inverted spin, it's really important to be able to stay flat on our back. And I'll show you why in a second. So we use the wall as an opponent, all right? The standard wall mat's two feet wide, which is perfect. So we have uh, our opponent's left side and our opponent's right side running down the seams. My goal is to stay within that body the whole time. So we start off with a foot on a foot or a foot on a side, all right? So I have a person essentially inside of my guard. Right, the first thing we do is simulate a leg drag. So he's gonna grab my leg, he pulls me across. So to regain my center, to get my symmetry back, I step over and I just go back and forth, right? And so it, it, it's a loosely literal drill. Um, it is practical for jujitsu. Uh, the guy's approaching my guard pass or his guard pass. I step over to re-guard, recovering my guard. So to make it more of a uh, of a technique driven drill. I think about putting my knee in the middle of the mat and I pummel myself back and forth. So I step, knee, step, knee. And for this first round, I keep my spine almost totally perpendicular to the mat. So I'm not doing any spinning at all yet. I'm just using my hips and my legs to get my body loosened up. The next step, I go reaching in and I touch the wall. We call it a jab. I jab the wall, I touch the wall. I get myself almost a 90 degree turn. Not quite though, right? About a 60 degree turn. I step, long step over. I touch the wall with this hand. Step over, I'm touching the wall each time. The third phase, we go all the way in. So now we are doing a 180 degree turn. We're going 90 degrees from perpendicular to our left side and then a 180 from left to right. So the same exact technique, but I'm trying to get my shoulder all the way into the wall. This is gonna make it a little bit more difficult to step over, challenging our flexibility and keeping this really, really based in reality. The fourth phase of this is to step all the way over to our inverted guard. I get leg drag, big turn. I step from here, I'm just coming all the way underneath. Again, keeping myself in line with my opponent, right? My bad guy's in front of me. I come all the way back through. We long step, we invert, we revert back. We long step, we invert, we revert back without traveling left or right down the mat. If I were to travel down the mat by doing a Granby roll, my opponent now has just passed my guard. So it's really important I learn to stay in front of my opponent the whole time, not traveling down the mat. So again, the whole process looks like this. We go short drags using just our lower body with perpendicular spines. We do medium drags, which involves a 45 or 60 degree angle, jabbing the wall. We involve uh, a long leg drag that gets us all the way into the wall. We long step over and come back home. time. Biggest thing here guys, have fun with it. Get our bodies loosened up. Get used to playing that inverted guard. The biggest thing for me is understanding the range. So if I'm traveling too far away from the wall or too close into the wall and my arms can't straighten, I'm a little too close or a little too far away. It's really important we keep our ears off the mat as we rotate. Anytime we look for an inverted guard or an inversion and our ear goes to the mat, we're always gonna fail that, that inversion. I can correct it by tucking myself underneath, but ultimately my ear should stay off the mat the whole process. 
The second rule I have is I try to imagine I have a tennis ball between my chin and my chest, right? So my goal is to always have room for a tennis ball. So I'm not trying to squish that ball. I want to leave it open the whole time. If my chin comes to my chest, I start putting pressure on my spine or on my neck and uh, I've got a bad neck, so that's not good for me. So head stays open, spine stays long, um, hamstring flexibility is gonna be the key component to understanding how we can invert effectively. If we're struggling with that, one way to fix that is to work on uh, inverted pike stretch. So I use the wall for grip. I start off facing away from the wall. I do a backward roll up into the wall. Make sure I touch the wall, right? I'm jab range away. My feet come to my hands or as high as I can. So if I can only get to here, I just try to drive my heels straight to the wall. I can feel that through my calf into my hamstring. As I walk my legs down lower and lower and lower, I get more and more stretch through my hamstrings. And I still try to push my legs straight to the wall and feel that stretch. Um, as always, whenever we stretch, make sure we're not going um, too far. We keep it a nice, safe stretch. It should feel tight, but it shouldn't feel like we're doing damage at all. Don't hold your stretches for too long. Let's go for like 15 seconds. Um, and just try to hit that full stretch as much as we can. The biggest thing is making sure I'm driving my heels to the mat and I really should feel where that pole is. If I'm not feeling it in my hamstrings, uh, I might feel it in my hips, meaning my hips are tight, my hamstrings are loose. So oftentimes we struggle to figure out what exactly is keeping us from inverting or from being comfortable while inverting. The biggest component though, the biggest key of it is keeping our neck or our chin off of our chest. Head nice and tall. That keeps our neck safe the whole way. Um, you really shouldn't feel a lot of pressure in your uh, in your neck or your head or, or your upper back when you're inverting. If you are, let's work on our flexibility and then come back and try it again. Give it a shot, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments and we'll keep posting cool videos. So we'll see you guys soon. Thanks.